Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I don't know exactly where this video is going to slot in today. Uh, I might have the second episode review up for Rings of Power. I might not. I might slip this in between the first and the second reviews. Who cares? <laughs> Let's get into it, shall we? So, after I'd finished reviewing the first episode... I decided to check Rotten Tomatoes. And again, I want to stress very clearly, Rotten Tomatoes has no credibility. No credibility anymore. It's run by Warner, I believe, uh, which is now Paramount Warner, Par Paramount Warner. Warner is Paramount, whatever. So it's run by them anyway. And we've seen them interfere on multiple occasions when it's come to movies in an effort to protect them. And by protect them, I mean make sure that the audience score doesn't go too low and you often find that this will be with uh, large productions as opposed to smaller independent movies that they don't give a toss about because they don't seek to profit from that shall we say but i looked at rings of power because it's always fun to do this because it's always fun to see how they're going to respond to a big franchise now, when the critics, the shill critics, started to release their scores, it was about at about 90-something percent. And then, as the embargo released, and more uh, reviews went up on there, as you can see, slowly, the critic score has gone to 83%. Not a not a terrible percentage by any stretch. It's a, it's a fresh, as they like to say. It's a bullshit. Uh, but it shows that there were plenty of critics who weren't afraid to actually say what they legitimately thought. Maybe they didn't get the gift bags. Maybe they didn't get the access. Maybe they didn't get the prawn sandwiches from Chong Chi. Or maybe some of them have a little bit of credibility. Who knows? But when I went to check, because now that the show has been released, the audience scores can go up. And I took a screenshot uh, about an hour or two ago of this. And I, and I put it up on Twitter and I went, oopsie. I just put oopsies and I put this up. Because as you can see, the audience score has uh, over 1,100 users. And it's at 41% on the verge of dipping below 40. So it's on the verge of hitting the 30 odd percents. Then, as I was mucking around, because I thought I'd just have a, another check, I did a refresh, and I'll do one live right now. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Did you see what happened there? I did a refresh. It's okay. I have a I have an image. Uh and it went. Oh no, I can't bring you back up, sir. Thank you. That one. And it went to a user rating of 650. So uh, over 350 user ratings suddenly vanished as if a load of user ratings screamed out in terror and then were suddenly silenced so 330 odd user ratings vanished and it went up from the 41 percent to the 47 percent now of course we all know exactly what's going to be said we all know that Rotten Tomatoes, if they care to comment, and I very much doubt that they will comment, but if they care to comment, they will say, well, we deleted the trolls. That's what we did. We deleted the trolls. There were trolls. There were bot accounts. Have you heard this story before? Y you have. Many times. I know. I know. But if we just pop this down again, as you can see, I did a quick live refresh. 
And that 650 has now gone up to 770. So another 120 people have added their user rating and it's gone down again to 45. 45, which sounds very similar to Fortify. Because how much longer is it going to be until Rod and Tomatoes come out and try and fortify the score again? So let's jump into this, shall we? Let's jump into Let's see these score details. 2.7 star average. 770 ratings. Average rating? No, not, not saying, are you? Okay. So let's click on to what's being said. Slow paced, only good thing with visuals. All right. Let's have a look at this five star. I like the two episodes a lot. It takes time to start, but it's understandable that these are two chapters. The characters are mainly presented. I want to see more, much more. Here, yeah, drop me to uh... drag this across. Half a star. Very disappointing. Poor writing and dialogue. Slow pacing. Guy Ladriel is unrecognizable and is very unlikable. I agree with everything that's been said so far. If you've seen my episode one review, you'll know what I gave it, though, which wasn't half a star. The majority of the characters lack appeal or interesting traits. This person is not wrong. The plot is far from what is written in the Cimmerillion. Well, they don't have all the appendices. Well, I'm going to say they don't have access to this, just the appendices. The scenes with the hobbits have an amateur dramatics vibe. Absolutely spot on. This guy is spot on. Strange costume design, cliche dialogue, and corny presentation. I can't. I can't disagree. Uh, Fem Rond and Gay Galad <laughs> seem to have been dubbed down. Yes. What a letdown. It could have been spectacular. I can't disagree with what they've said. I, I really can't. Uh, apart from the, the half a rating. I thought there were a couple of things which, are, you know. But here we get, look. Absolutely great and stunning. Five star. I mean... That could be spam, couldn't it? That could be a bot. No real review, just stunning and brave. Five star. So what, in the eyes of Rotten Tomato, uh, is a bot account? Is it something that pulls down the score, but not something that elevates the score? Well, the answer is, of course, yes. Of course it is. You don't ever see the five stars getting deleted because they're bots. No. You see the low bots or the, I wouldn't even call them bots. Let's just say the, the people who are wanting to lowball it. But the thing is, when you have a user rating, it's up to the user to, to put what score they want. Not you. So any attempt to, to, to dissuade that, unless you can absolutely 100% prove that there is a, a mass bot attack. But look at this person. This person here that gave the one, uh, gave, gave half a star, gave a very, uh, a very descriptive review. I mean, I know it's still there and it hasn't been deleted, so they have kept that, but you know. Absolutely awful. I've waited for this show for two years. What a disappointment. Just so disappointed with this. I had high hopes, but this is so far removed from the world of Tolkien cre that Tolkien created. If this show wasn't associated with the Lord of the Rings, nobody would care about it. I could agree with that. Now then, this is a five star with uh, an actual review. Let's read this one. Pacing issues in the first two episodes. Correct. Scenes jumped around a lot. I mean, they were disjointed. Okay, yeah, sure. But it was absolutely great on the whole. Mm. I mean, you've put two criticisms and then you've given it a full a full score. So, I mean, with your two criticisms, is this really five out of five? Not really. No, it can't be because you've, you've said there's criticisms. Wonderful return to Middle-earth. There was enough of the Weta slash Peter Jackson aesthetic to make it feel familiar. Would 100% disagree. 
while being an entirely new flavor to the table. So it looks like Peter Jackson, but it's completely different. <laughs> Minimal law breakage. Hi, did you see fucking Guy Ladriel? She shouldn't even be fighting. And as regards to law breakage, there was a tremendous amount of non-law characters. Amazon created characters. Halbrand, guess who's coming for second breakfast? The apothecary, her son. Hello? The d okay. Visuals and music are glorious. Acting is good across the board. <laughs> Everyone complaining about wokeness slash Amazon pushing politics before the show had even end was so incredibly off the mark. Surprise, surprise. Well... Yay, yeah, this doesn't make a lot of sense, fella. This doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. So let's just uh let's just head back. And uh look! It's now reverted. <laughs> it's now gone to a thousand and one again with a 41% rating. Something tells me this score from Rotten Tomatoes is going to be up and down, just like guess who's coming to second breakfast's apothecary's knickers in this show. See you in the next video. Bye for now.